Oh. I haven't even really poked it yet. Coming in. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That was deep. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is the bottom tip of the sacrum. Oh. Very bouncy there at the L5. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, move your knees apart. <laughs> that was it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Give me tenderness here. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. Neck pain, back pain? Neck pain, back pain. But which one's worse? Um pretty bad both of them uh, I have a disc herniation in my cervical spine mm -hmm. um, cervical disc herniation I have a lot of pain that goes throughout my shoulder blades mm -hmm. specifically on the right side mm -hmm. do you ever get any pain that goes down your arms this side left side mm -hmm. and I'm missing tingling to your fingers uh, yeah which fingers does it affect the thumb and this finger okay <clears throat> do you remember was it just one disc in your neck um, I believe the MRI said C5 through C7. Bulging or herniated? Herniated. Okay. How'd you do that? A uh, car accident. Oh, when was that? Uh, 2013. Okay. And then when was that MRI taken? Uh, I had one in 2013 and then I had another one. I've had a few. The last one was in 2018. Okay. Any changes in the last Cervical one? Cervical disc uh, degeneration. Um, but it was basically the same. They just told me to do surgery, which I'm not trying to do. Mm -hmm. No PT? They didn't even offer it? I, I did, I've done everything. I've done acupuncture. I've done chiropractic. I've done um, physical therapy. Okay. Change of diet to try to help in inflammation. Mm -hmm. What kind of diet changes did you make? Uh, I went completely vegan. No dairy. I mean, I still don't eat dairy, but um, I didn't notice that much of a change because I just feel like I'm always tense. And I think that contributes to like a lot of muscle tightness. Um, all right, tell me about your low back. Um, so that kind of has always given me problems, especially around my cycle. Like I feel like if I bend forward, it always pops or feels like it needs to pop and it does like this mm -hmm. motion sort of situation. And then recently I had a CT scan because I've had a lot of digestive issues. Um, and they checked my liver and my kidneys, and on that scan, it showed that I have an L5 pars defect, mm -hmm. which I didn't know what that meant. Apparently, it's a fracture mm -hmm. of some sort, so found that out. Because they never actually did an MRI of my complete spine. They just, when the accident happened, they just did from, like, here. So who knows how long or what's going on completely. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get any pain that goes down your legs? But I get a lot of pain in, in my calves. I don't know why. Both calves equally? Um, the left more than the right. Okay. Heel strike, mid stance and toe off. Looks symmetrical. A little bit of inversion there on the left side. Yeah, definitely inversion in the last three left foot steps. Right there, and then the mid stance for on the right side is showing a little bit of pronation. All right, looking at the shoulder height, we have just very slightly mild increase on the left side. Left shoulder is a little bit higher. Uh, not too much head tilt to compensate for that. That's good. Good, and then from here, it looks like a high left hip. Keep going, keep walking straight. Looks like a high left hip. Hard to tell though with the black pants. That's okay, we're gonna come back this way. And then looking at the hip swing, Good. It's it's pretty pretty mild hip swinging there. Actually, I don't see any discrepancies. Um, not really much of a drop. Maybe a mild drop on the left arch. Going to turn around the other way. And then the Achilles tendon here. We definitely have some bowing on the right. So definitely a, a pronation on the right. You have some things here saying you're wearing tight shoes. Mm -hmm. And probably shoes that aren't healthy for your feet. They're leaving these blisters all over. But it's only on the right side, so you don't have any blisters on the left side. No, I didn't wear socks the other day. <laughs> yeah, but you're wearing the same shoe on both yeah. feet, but you only have blisters on the one side. So that means you have mechanical changes in your right foot that you don't have in your left foot. A little bit of pronation and decreased arch there, okay? Okay, just looking at your spine posturally. So no one ever told you you had any curvatures in your spine? I was tested for scoliosis when I was a kid, but they didn't say anything, but okay. I feel like my spine is not straight. 
And especially there, there's like a hump, it feels like. Some people have pointed that out. Mm, you, have, you have a slight increase in your thoracic curve here. It's not terrible. But like, can you see, there you go. Like now you're good. But when you do that, mm -hmm. I can see the compensation because these muscles here are sticking out way further than these muscles. So there's more tension here than here. But up here, this is okay. 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 Um, let's see how long you can hold that for. Okay, I'm going to do a gentle scan on the top of your spine. You have a lot of right-sided activity here. Mm -hmm. This is this thoracic lumbar here it seems like the, the most tense. Mm -hmm. It's very tender. You also have a slight discoloration like right here. I did self-tan. Oh, is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So when we do a temperature evaluation, the temperature is nice and uh, symmetrically distributed. Mm -hmm. From left to right, left to right, left to right, even in this area where it's more tense here, it still feels even, but the but the moisture really picks up and then and then it just becomes very moist here in the low back, right at the bottom, L5. Let's test the sacrum here. Do you have any tenderness here? Uh-huh. Do you have any tenderness here? Yes. Ooh. Which side more? They're both pretty cool. Left and right, same? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then like I could see that I could see you compensating and you really want to lean to the right. Your body's trying to lean to the right. I'm trying not to move. Okay. Okay, move your knees apart. Good, back together. Apart, back together. Almost no movement on the left side joint. Let's try to adjust the left, do just the left. Oh, just the left. Yep, center, left. Yep, it's all over here, just stop. Okay, now do just the right. Back to center, not much over there either. I'm gonna take a look at the glute folds here. This helps us to see which way that the pelvis is rotated. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstring sliding up to the glute fold here, here. It's actually, it's pretty even, if not slightly lower on the right. Looking from the top, and that's actually pretty even too. So, so uh, not a whole lot of rotation, but the right hip might be stuck backwards. Definitely a right short. Okay, now I'm gonna bend your knees. Don't help me, let me do the work. Good. Right short stays short. That points to the left of this SI joint here. Discomfort, tension, pain? Oh, yeah. What about the right side? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More on one side than the other? Uh, I think more on this side, but they both hurt equally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pain, discomfort, tension? A little tension. L5, L4, pain, discomfort, tension? Mm -hmm. L3, pain, discomfort, tension? A little tension. Okay. But it hurts the most when I push here? Yes. Oh, God, yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to palpate your coccyx, okay, since you had a fall on your butt recently mm -hmm. and you're having difficulty sitting. All right, so starting from the sacrum here, Sarah, we're following down the lateral aspect of the sacrum. Here's the um, PSIS S2 segment, S3, S4. This is the bottom tip of the sacrum here coming in. Is this tender oh, here? Oh, that's tender. Uh -huh. Okay, that's your coccyx. Uh -huh. We're going to have to adjust your coccyx. How yeah, the chop fibers are doing. Okay, let your shoulders relax. Tender.
Pressure's okay there. Mm -hmm. gentle breathing. How's the pressure? Okay. Going to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And let your back sink in. Go gentle. Not bad. Let's do it again. In breath and out. Okay, top of the spine. There's two here. Another one. Another breath just like that. In and out. Shoulders relaxed. All right, I want to do, give that one more little push just to make sure we got it all, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it again. Deep breath in and out. Good shoulders relaxed. Good. Mm. Good. Good. And out. <laughs> so we're going to follow just like we did before down to the coccyx. Here is the coccyx segment. Tender? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to come just underneath of this segment here. Good. Okay, Sarah, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to adjust the SI joint like this. Good. Okay, let's try it. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good. We're going to bring this down. Shoulders relax. Good. Oh. Okay, good. We're breathing. Following your breath, we're going to bring your shoulders up here and this hips down. Then we're going to push like that, okay? okay? Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Shoulders. So it kind of reversed a little bit. That's good. That means we had some good movement in the pelvis, most likely. All right, so let's try this. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Left. Center. Okay, that's good. Now bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Good. Center. Left ear. Let me bring it. Let me move your head. 
All you gotta do is breathe and then just let your head drop, just like that. Good, shoulders relaxed. Good, letting this go. Good, I'm gonna push this in here like this. Good, you're doing good. You just wanna completely surrender, just letting your head, hips, and shoulders all drop into the table. Good, letting this go, letting this go. Good, you're holding on a little bit here. Maybe I shouldn't cross my arms. That's okay. Good, that was, that's it, right there. Just let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, that feels so good. Mm. Left. Again, just let me do your... Okay, I'm okay. so sorry. Let me move your head. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is breathe. Good, and you're sinking in. That was perfect. Good, let go. Right here at C5 where you had that disc. Good, let this relax here. Let your head drop. That was it. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh. Relax here, good. Yeah. We're gonna start the ileocecal valve and we find that by first finding the belly button. ASI is here. We connect these two points. That's where we'd be in looking. Yours is pretty easy to find. Weird. Mm-hmm. The pylori sphincter. Okay, good. Things are moving. Go take another deep breath in. And out. Go ahead again. Tender. <laughs> All right, keep belly breathing. Good. That was an excellent belly breath. Good. Good, and down. Okay, now. We're gonna use this towel. Are you okay with the towel like that? All right, your hands are good there. Your hips are held in place by the pins. I'm gonna use the towel to support your neck. All you have to do is keep your teeth together. Good. And just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. I'm pulling in that direction here. Go, let's do that again. Deep breath in. And out. Oh! Oh! Because when I was getting chiropractic care, like, they would just adjust my neck, poof, be gone. But it never, ever, not especially not on that side, cracked like that. I think it would just be like a little crack and that was it. But that mm. was deep. So what's happening in your digestive system? So your colon here definitely is talking. How much water do you drink? Let's start with that. I drink a lot, but maybe not enough. Okay, that's good. How much do you, are you aware of the fiber that you eat? You've done dietary changes before, so. Yeah, I try to eat a lot of fiber. Mm -hmm. Lots of fruits, veggies, raw. Um, I haven't been very good with my veggies lately, but I have been good with my fruit. <laughs> but okay. I definitely need to go back on the veggies because I've been indulging in a little too much sweets. Okay. And that doesn't, not good for your digestive system. I was just gonna ask how your adrenals are doing because they're a little tuned up. Do you get fatigued though too? Do you crash after you eat? Uh, yeah, I get very tired. But I also, I've been drinking a lot of coffee recently because I've been tired. And I know that definitely stresses your adrenal system. There was a time last year where I stopped drinking coffee at all. And I definitely noticed an improvement in my energy levels. Oh, okay, not too bad on the deep level. Uh, actually, lung is okay. You don't have any lung issues, right? 
Mm-mm. No asthma, allergies. Uh, spleen is okay. How how's your immune system? You getting sick often? I don't think so. Good. And then uh, well, I am picking up your reproductive system. Um, it seems diminished to me. So either you're like just like coming off the end of your period, or you've got something else going on. I have endometriosis. Okay. Um, and it just came off my cycle. Okay, so okay, that's good. Thank you for confirming. Um, have you, have you been told whether or not you can, uh, conceive or have you tried? Uh, we haven't tried, but I don't know why I have a gut feeling that I'm, I would have problems. Your gallbladder is actually okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't think that there's like, you don't have any gastroparesis. You've not been diagnosed with that, correct? I had my gallbladder checked, um, before the new year. Mm-hmm. And I think I had a scan after the new year, and they didn't find anything in the ultrasound. They said everything was normal. What about your heart? Sometimes I don't feel like my heart beats right. <laughs> it feels irregular? Mm-hmm. Sometimes at night if I lay on my side, it like palpitates. Um, almost like feels like can't breathe when that happens mm-hmm. but my doctor's like oh there's nothing wrong with it and i'm like but that's not normal <laughs> doesn't seem like recently i've had um i think i have mild scoliosis i sent you that picture and you were yeah. like oh, i don't know if that and i shouldn't be diagnosing myself but i have a slight misalignment and no matter how much yoga i do uh no matter how um many uh, salt baths I soak in I just can't quite feel like I'm in total alignment mm. so sometimes it's in my left side of my neck mm. sometimes it's my left shoulder my left hip and even into my left knee mm-hmm. and this week particularly um, I I felt a lot of tightness in my lower back and as a yoga practitioner I, I like back bends are my jam I mm-hmm. always find found it very easy I can go from standing and bring my hands all the way to the floor. Cool. Um, but recently, it's like there's a, a blockage where I can't, f- like the alignment's off to where there's no mobility there, where there used to be a lot of mobility. Which one bothers you more? Definitely the low back more, um, but earlier in the month of March, it was, it was really emphasized in my left shoulder. So when I sent you that, picture and it looked like my vertebrae was slightly off Mm -hmm. um and i feel it i've because of my uh knowledge and anatomy i definitely think it's my rhomboid major that was like tightened and pulled and it's on my left side so like literally right behind my heart Mm -hmm. and uh i you know i've noticed it come and go in waves how long have you always felt that off um, just very recently, like within the last two weeks, oh, okay. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm not going as deep as I usually do. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the blockage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, how long have you had that off feeling where you can't? Feel oh gosh. Mis- yeah. Um, I felt off, like misaligned, for probably two years. Okay. Maybe a little, like give or take. All right. Have you seen any? Have you seen a chiropractor in that time? I've never been to an actual chiropractor. Um, at one of the yoga studios I taught at, she um, was a physical therapist turned more holistic, um, specializing in pelvic health and myofascial release. Mm-hmm. And she, last summer, she did this amazing pro- like osteopathic adjustment on me just in my like lower hip region. I feel like she put my SI joint back in place. I didn't even realize it was off mm-hmm. until she put it back in. And then instantly, I remember swimming in the ocean and just being able to, like, it felt like I had a new body. I was like, oh, this is what it feels like to be aligned. Yeah. And, you know, for months and months and months, it was good. Everything's great. And then, you know, life happens. You move your body wrong one time. All right. Do you have any other health conditions or do you take pharmaceutical medication for anything? Do you take any vitamins, herbs, minerals? Just, uh, like, 10,000 I use of vitamin D. Okay. That's the only thing I'm very adamant about. Okay, very good. Okay, so you say you've never been adjusted by a chiropractor. Never. How do you feel about it? I'm very curious. Okay. I've 
always had a skeptical mindset and mm -hmm. just going into you know yoga training has opened me up to being more um, receptive to alternate types of uh, treatment. I have always been very like natural, holistic, um, mm -hmm. but I had read a, uh, I read an article a couple of years ago that was like, chiropractor practices a bunch of BS. And I was like, it's like, hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've never had it. So I just kind of like, I feel like that seed was planted. I was like, okay, I'll just like stay away from that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so just observationally, it doesn't look like you have any curvatures, even the slightest difference in the left eye shoulder and the right is still less than an inch. Mm -hmm. So within normal limits, no one's perfectly symmetrical. That's true. You just do yoga so you have more body self-awareness. Mm -hmm. You have a great muscle tone back here. It's very symmetrical. But right here, mm -hmm. I, there's definitely a muscle knot here, and I haven't even really poked it yet. Mm -hmm. But it's slightly more prominent here. Mm -hmm. On the left side, a little bit of dryness back here too. I was just in Florida. Your vata is aggravated. Oh, you're just in Florida? <laughs> no, yeah. I just got sunburned a little bit. It's pretty consistently warm throughout the entire spine, but then when we get to the sacrum, mm. it actually drops off. So I'm going to palpate your SI joints that here. That feels great. This feels great? Mm -hmm. Not tender? Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, what about the right side? Is this, this side tender over here? Nope. Got very bouncy there at the L5. Super flexible. There was a little bit of a muscle spasm there on the right mm -hmm. side, though. Mm. Oh, yeah, that right, right, yeah. You feel that? Mm-hmm. Close. Open. Good movement on the right side, not as much on the left. Close. Mm -hmm. Open. Okay, good. That means we might have an internal or external restriction mm -hmm. on the left S side. Slide up to the bottom of the glute fold here. Mm -hmm. We're slightly lower on the right and higher on the left, which means the right hip may have gone Mm. back like this or the left hip is going forward we'll see more when you lay down then looking from the top the left side is slightly more accentuated than the right side here so this would be the side of the external rotation mm. Okay, I'm gonna push down into your hips, okay? Mm -hmm. Any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here on the right sacrum? Mm -hmm. Go to the left sacrum. Okay.
<laughs> well, okay. That means you're relaxed. That means we're pushing in the right space. So let's practice one first. So you're going to take a deep breath in. And then out. I'm going to follow that breath down like this. And at the end of your breath is when we do a push. There's more. <laughs> let's try that again in and out. And sinking in. Shoulders sinking. Now. Again in. And out. Mm. <sighs> okay, gentle breathing in through your nose. Good and out. Good sinking. I know you're super flexible, so we're gonna bring this down here like this. Shoulders. Oh. Uh, when the shoulders come up, gentle, gentle. One more. Oh. Following your breath, I'm gonna bring you over to the side right about here, and then from there we push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, gentle, gentle. Oh. oh my goodness. Breathing, testing first, feeling the spine. That was my finger. Okay, seven, six. I feel it all there in the middle. Okay, seven, six, five. Okay, gentle breathing, sinking in. Good. Okay, I'm gonna pull your ankle in this direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Push your knees out to the side. Push, 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 push. Oh, okay, relax. <laughs> Play soccer. Uh -huh. All right, let me squeeze my fist again. Oh, squeeze. Wait, squeeze. Oh, it needs to go. Feel it. Feel it. Right, hold on, let me get a little grip here. Okay, now push out, push out. <laughs> okay, relax. Oh. oh, that feels so good. Yeah, that's so strong. <laughs> All right, hold your knees together. Hold, hold. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Okay, this is a diaphragm release.
this like this. I don't want to bring this like that. Okay, you're breathing. Just like the other adjustments, as you breathe out, we're gonna come like this, and then we're gonna pull like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Just breathe through your nose, keep your teeth together. Good, one more, just like that. We'll follow this breath out. Good. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I felt that in my soul. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Did you feel it in your lower back? <laughs> mm. It's, it's like. Oh. Zygomatic process. Uh, the sixth layer is the chakra. Mm. Oh, somewhere in between five and six. It's pretty interesting. Somewhere in between throat chakra and third eye. Mm. Ah, spirit moving <laughs> up when he drives by. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, what, what, yeah, so we were just talking about moving mm -hmm. places that want you to be a year you want to be snowbirds and mm -hmm. so like yeah well, i guess it's um i guess the dershik reading for right now is just bringing us into a place to uh, of recognition acknowledgement mm. that you can speak into existence what you see mm. so to be careful what you're creating all the time Mm. And also just and do it, you know what I mean? Like But you've been to a chiropractor before. I have, yep. Okay, tell um, me about that. I just really went because like I said my sister was going, um, and she said it just brings like your body balance and stuff mm. like that. How do you feel when you get adjusted versus when you're not getting adjusted? Um, I feel well, I feel like I I don't know, just when I go work out and stuff, things are more balanced when I'm squatting or um I know it's kinda weird too, but almost breathing better too. It's more of like a breath of fresh air. I just think I do have bad posture. Like you right now are sitting up straight and I don't, I just don't think my posture is the best ever. Your posture looks great I don't right know now. if that's a mm -hmm. um, muscle thing though, or you know, so. It's a, it's a, it's multiple things. So posture is just always a decision that you're making in the moment. So you're doing fine. Your posture is fine. All you have <laughs> to do is stay present. I, I had Wolf Parkinson's white. Okay. Um, so it was caught. So I had, it's like a extra pathway. Mm -hmm. um, I just got a catheter ablation done in September. Mm -hmm. So essentially they go through the groin area and they cauterized um, where it was coming from. Um, so with that, I was getting a lot of PVCs. All right, uh, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are symmetrical. The hip swing from left to right, it looks symmetrical. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any deviation. And then looking at the mastoid, we have a right lateral flexion. The shoulder height here, we had a high right shoulder in the hallway. Good, this is the bottom of the scapula here, so we definitely have a high right shoulder. Tender right there. Yep. Good. Right side. Is it, is it as, as tender? Okay. Upper left SI joint. Any tenderness here? Mm, mildly, possibly. What about I don't this know. right side? Does it feel like that? No, definitely more on the left. Okay, bouncing through the spine here, just checking the range of motion, the joint play. Good. Very good flexibility here. You're very strong. You feel your muscles are very toned. Good. When we come up into the, when we get to the mid thoracic here. This is that one segment that this one's definitely not moving quite as much. Okay. 
tracing up to the top of the glute fold, slightly lower on the right, which means your right hip is back like that. Okay, make your toes even. Even okay. out your toes as best as you can. Okay. Like so that they're, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, now looking at the glutes from the top view, and so the right glute is out like this a little bit. Okay. And so that tells us that the right one is possibly turned out or the left one is turned in. Okay, let your arms relax here. Just gonna check for hypertonicity. Okay, there is a little bit more of a hypertonic right glute muscle here, especially these, as soon as we get out here at glute medius glute. Okay, right is showing up as a short leg. Go ahead and push your legs against my hands out. Push them out? Yeah, push them out. Okay, push, push. Good, relax. Very close to even. I'm gonna bend your knees now. Okay. Good, right short on the bend. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? No. Pain, discomfort, tension here? No. Good, all five. Pain, discomfort, tension here? Um, it doesn't feel comfortable, I guess. How about L4 here? No. Okay, more tender on the right or left here? The right. Good, right, tender. How about one or two, which is more tender? Mm, oh, geez. I feel like they're pretty equal, to be honest. Equal? Yeah. yeah. Okay, one. They're both, like, tender, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, left. Left. So yeah. this is that upper SI joint on the left that was tender when you were seated. Down. Left, go down. Okay, right lumbar is firing. Let's do this. Lift the right leg up again as high as it can go. Okay, as high as it can go. Good, down. Okay, left, down. Okay, was one side easier than the other? I believe the left is easier than the left. Oh, that feels awesome. and gentle. Deep breath in. And out. Good sinking and following the shoulders. Sinking. Good shoulders. Sinking in. Good. Go let the shoulders sink as you breathe out. Okay, this is how we adjust the low back. So okay. we're going to pull this shoulder out just a little, a little bit like this. That's good. Okay. We're going to bend the top leg. Okay. Bottom leg is straight. Good. I'm going to stretch your shoulders up like this and your hip down like this. Okay. And then we're going to pull push like that, okay? Like straight. Yep. Okay. okay, breathing. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. Shoulders and hips sinking in. Good. Your back. All right, so this side, same thing. Shoulders up this way, hip down like this. Then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, let's try it. Deep breath in. Good, end out. Good, bring it down just a little bit more. Good. Oh, that one was good. Turn your back. Okay, left short again. That's consistent. This is how we check the neck. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the right. Okay. Back to center. Good, turn your head to the left. Back to center. 
Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. And bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Okay, back to center. So we have bilateral SI joint. Or excuse me, we have bilateral upper cervical. Laterality is on the right, and you had a right lateral flexion, which is the posterior mass. So all you have to do is sink in with your breath. Good. As you breathe out, we'll follow it like this and give a little push. Okay. Ready? Yep. Nice, gentle breathing. Let it out gently. Very good. Let the head and shoulders sink in. Let it all loose. Good. Hold on. I'm going to breathe in again here. Yeah. Very good. Good. Sink again. Okay. See, that was good, right? Yeah. No pain. Good breathing, good. good. Gentle sinking, good. good. Let the head drop in, shoulders drop. That's good. I like that. So we're gonna do an ankle adjustment now. For this one, I pull in this direction like that, okay? Good. One more time, push out. Push, 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 push. Okay, relax. Okay, hold your knees together. Hold them together as hard as you can. Okay. Hold them. Hold. Good. Was that you? Did you crack? Yep. Okay. Okay, so this starts with the ileocecal valve, okay? So the ileocecal valve is where the large intestine meets the small intestine. Okay. We locate it by first finding your belly button. Yours is there. Front of the hip, ASIS, is here. We connect these two points. This is where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Okay, you said you ate this morning? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not here yet. So it hasn't passed from the one into from the large into the, from the small into the large. But it should be a little bit tender, right? Mm -hmm. Good, but yours is clear right now. That's good. Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. We're just here, so you ate not too long ago, so this is a little bit more active. It's tender. Oh yeah, that's tender. A little bit of tension here. Hold on, we almost got it. Keep breathing into your belly. Okay, one more deep belly breath. And out. Good, keep counting. Do another belly breath. Good. Okay, it's supposed to be tight. Don't worry, it's only going to last for a second, okay? Okay. Okay, you're good. You're doing great. I'm going to use the towel. You're okay with that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. This is just like the other adjustments. So I'm just going to pull in this direction as you breathe out. And then when we get to the end, we pull like that. Okay, it's okay to be nervous. All you have to do is breathe. Deep breath in. Good. And then sinking in. Shoulders and hips. Everything letting go into the table. Very nice. Pulling gently. Ow. See, that wasn't terrible, right? No. Did you feel it all the way down? Yes, I did. <laughs> Till my tailbone. <laughs> Good. Yeah. See, you did it. Okay, how does it feel? Feel good. Feel... feel... Yeah, I feel balanced. I guess that's the proper word. Yeah. Good, that's what you're looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. How's the neck? Is it, is it sore out there a little bit? No, I guess not sore at all. Yeah, it just feels a little different. I don't know how to explain it though. Yeah, let's just relax. Okay. Here, push. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay, right side, push. Good. Ooh, I don't, that's different. Do you have any back pain or neck pain? Um, usually like neck pain towards the right. Okay, neck pain on the right. Mm -hmm. Do you have it every day? Mm, yeah. 
Okay. How long, how far back can you remember? Probably like a year. Okay. What happened a year ago? I do a lot of lifting, so I think it's just a compound of that. Okay, maybe built up over time. Mm-hmm. So no actual injury in the gym. No. No, no other, no other falls or accidents or anything about a year yeah. ago around that time. Mm-hmm. At least any other job changes? Did you move? Relationship mm-hmm. changes a year ago. No. Okay, very good. Um, so you've been. What do you? What do you do? Nursing, travel nursing. Oh, you're a travel nurse. How long have you been a travel nurse for? Um, a year and a half now. Okay, cool. Just after COVID started. Okay. So travel nursing a year and a half, shortly thereafter, neck pain started. Mm-hmm. That's pretty close. That's a year and a half year. Um, no, did you have neck pain before this, this daily? Did off and you, on. Off and on. Mm-hmm. Um, more so than any part of your other part of your back, upper back or low back? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes lower back, but... When does your neck hurt the most? In the mornings. All right, so more in the morning. That's interesting. Um... No, okay. no, because I'm a side sleeper. Or... Uh, or you're sleeping in hotels all the time <laughs> or Airbnbs. Yeah, mm-hmm. a constantly changing sleep environment. Um, how busy is the travel? How much how much traveling did you do in the last year? A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More than half the year? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Most of the year. Most of the year. Tell me about the hip pains. Right or left more? Uh, the right hip. I had a car accident like five years ago mm-hmm. and I broke my right hip. Mm-hmm. So every now and again starts to hurt okay let's go back broke your right hip mm-hmm. tell me more what actually fractured your femur yeah like right at the joint what was the severity of it mild moderate severe um moderate how was the after effect what what did you have to do afterwards like Where six some... months of physical therapy okay no casting or mm-hmm. no bracing no so how often does your hip bother you now um if i do a lot of running or a lot of cardio then it'll start to hurt um Probably like a couple of days a week. Uh, so I'm going to start off, we'll do an exam on your spine first. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do a gait evaluation, then we'll do a seated spine exam, some standing stuff, and then a prone examination. Uh, when we when I'm through the exam, I'll let you know, and we're going to practice one first. I'm going to do some soft tissue work too, mm-hmm. to like loosen up some structures. Uh, before I adjust you, we'll practice it. You've been adjusted before, so you know what it's like to get adjusted. Mm-hmm. But before I start adjusting you, I'll let you know. There won't be any surprises or anything like okay. that. We'll figure your spine out, we'll find out where it needs to be adjusted, and then I'll adjust you. Okay. Okay, inversion and supination on the left. Not as No inversion on the right, but still supinating as well. You can tell from the heel strike to the mid stance, there's just a very cautious letting down of the foot. She keeps all her toes elevated, almost like it's delayed or suspended animation. Okay, I'm going to touch the arches here. Good. Arches are intact on both sides equally. Turn around and face the other way. Good. Then looking at the Achilles teal heel, there is a convexity here on the inside, a medial convexity, and that does indicate that there is just slight supination. Taking a visual assessment on the spine, let's look at the scapula first. Good. So we do have a higher scapula on the left, so that would be the high left shoulder. Just a little minor change, postural change, the top of the thoracic spine, just a little bit of that hump, but you're young enough that as long as you Keep paying attention to your posture. This won't get any worse. We're going to do a temperature and moisture rating with the back of my fingers. Back of the fingertips are more sensitive to temperature. Good. A lot of heat coming off the top of the thoracic spine. We're working hard up here. It's very symmetrical through the shoulder blades right here at the thoracic lumbar transition. There's a slight increase on the right side versus the left, and it's pretty similar throughout the rest of the spine. Right here, there's a little bit of hypertonicity of these muscles on the right, more so than the right or the left. Like, how does this feel right here? Sore. What about this? Does it feel like this over here? Not as sore on that side, more sore on the right. Okay, right versus left, which is more tender, right or left? Right. Right here too, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so two sides. We've got some muscle stuff going on in the spine. The rhomboids are close to symmetrical. Let's see if there's any trigger points on the rhomboids. Let me 
just have to uh, even left to right, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too bad here. Maybe just slightly more on the right. Yeah. Feel that like little edema in there. Yeah. But that's not bad. Chops are generally in good condition. Muscles are in good condition, Jen. Your shoulders relax, so let your hands relax. Okay, I'm gonna look at your pelvis and uh, the, the glute fibers show mm -hmm. us which direction your pelvis is rotated. Okay, so look straight ahead. Okay, looking from the bottom, you're gonna feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings. The lower glute fold is on the right, meaning your right hip is gone posterior mm -hmm. inferior like that. And then looking from the, bring your feet together. And then keep if your toes, good, your toes are even. Good, we're gonna look from the top. The right side is externally rotated like that. The left side is internally rotated like that. And the glue fiber comes out a little bit further. Any discomfort or tension when I push here? Um, kind of in the middle of my back. Okay, how about here? No. Okay, some provocation on the right side. So when I push here and you say middle of your back, you mean down here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna push down and say L5. Do you feel discomfort or tension here? In the same spot. Good, more on the right than the left? Um, or same? It's, a, it's the same. Good. Good. Left, right? Um, the same. Left or right? The right. Right SI joint taking primary. Primary. Good. If we come to here, left, right? Neither hurt. Yeah. Central reading. I'm gonna loosen this L5 up here. Nice central reading. Okay, let's give it a try here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. Good sinking in. Yep. Okay, now deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Gently, gently, just breathing, letting it sink. Good sink. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. This time you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, that's what I'm gonna push. Okay. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. We're gonna adjust your lumbar spine here. I'm bring this like this. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up like this, and okay. then your hip down like this, but I'm gonna be pushing in that into your spine there. Okay. So turn your head so you're facing straight that way, good. Okay, good. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. And out. Good. We're gonna bring this down. Good. Bring this over. Okay, there's one more in there. Hold on. Let that hip relax. Shoulders. Good. Let it go. Okay, lay on your back. Okay, ilium on the right. Shoulders coming up. PSIS here. Good. We're gonna bring this down. Shoulders up. Good. One more breath. And out. Good. Good, lay on your back. Nice and gentle breathing. Good. We're gonna follow your breath and then we're gonna push into the side of your neck like that, okay? Okay. Okay, good, you're doing good. You're nice and relaxed, you're perfect right now. So we're just gonna follow it down. Good, we'll follow the next breath out. Good, loose, 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 gentle. I'm gonna push as gentle as possible, good. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Like I can tell that you didn't tense. Well, yeah, tense. not at all. Good head and shoulders. Good. Go let your head relax, shoulders relax. So this one I'm gonna bring you over to the side just a little bit more. This one's a little bit further down. It's surprising seven and six actually feel pretty good. It was actually five and four right here. Okay, but that's good. That's at the apex of the cervical spine. So we're gonna bring this one through the middle, posterior to anterior, lateral to medial, and then inferior to superior. 
Let us relax here, gentle, gentle, good. This is gonna be as gentle as I possibly can. Sinking in, good, we'll follow this next breath. Good, let that all go, good. That, that was okay. That was okay. It needs a little bit more. I need to push through it just a tiny bit more. Okay. Like I went right up to the brink of the barrier, the elastic barrier, mm -hmm. but like it's like where it needs to go is just a little bit further. Than okay. That. Okay. It's not really pushing faster, uh, pushing harder. It's just pushing faster. Good. Okay, one more time. Breathing. Good. End out. Good. Shoulders relax and sinking in. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a full spine adjustment, okay? Okay. You rest your hands on your belly, they're good there. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck, you're okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Okay, just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. Okay. Good, and as you breathe out, we start to pull in this direction like this. At the end of your breath, we give a little bit more of a pull like that, okay? Okay. All right, good, you're doing great right now. Your legs are in good position, your hands are in good position. Good, we're gonna follow, not this breath, the next breath out. But you're doing good, sinking in. Good. Breathe. <laughs> I do nails, so my neck tends to hurt a lot. I'm looking down. Mm -hmm. um, but like when I wake up in the morning, my back hurts really bad. Okay. All right, so how often is it every morning that you wake up in the morning? Just about, yeah. All right, how far back can you remember neck pain? Um, I've had neck pain for at least like the last few years. Okay, let's talk about the POTS. Okay, so what are your symptoms? Uh, whenever I stand up, it's usually when I stand up or like walking a short distance, uh, my heart will start to race and I get dizzy. And if I don't sit down, like usually I'll just sit down and it fixes it. But if I don't, my vision will start to black out. Hip swing is very quiet. There's very little motion from left to right. But we're slightly more accentuated towards the right and then restricted towards the left. Good, good, hip is higher. On the right, that matches the high left shoulder. I'm gonna touch the bottom of your feet, okay? Feel you like your arms relax. Good, and arches are intact. Your arch on the right side actually is decreased. Left arch is intact. Okay, so just observing the spine first. Nice and gentle, relaxed shoulders. Good, we do have the high left shoulders. Let's do this, like bend forward just a little bit. Like bring your head down and then bend forward a little bit. You, know, you really clearly visualize almost your entire spine here. <laughs> And then like right here where your spine should be the most prominent, it should really stick out the most here, um, it starts to disappear. So we have a little bit of a flattening of this curve. It's very mild and shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Definitely more down here in the left. Picking up mostly left. You right handed? Yes. This is a temperature evaluation using the back of the hands, which are more sensitive to temperature. Got much warmer here on the right side. The right side is it's the warmness is normal though. I think it's actually you're you're a little bit too cool on this <laughs> side. The muscles on the right side of your spine are working harder. Much more prominent musculature on the right side too versus the left side. Does this feel like this no Does it feel a little bit more tension over here yeah okay good good no dampness no dryness good skin moisture content here okay i'm gonna push a little bit deeper into your spine Ticklish? No. Tender? A little. It feels good though. Good. That was tenderness right here in this area where that flattening is. I'm going to palpate the SI joints. Good. Do you have any tenderness here in the upper left SI? Yeah. Good. How about the lower left? Oh, yeah. Good. Let's try the right side. Tenderness here. 
Yeah, not as bad. Lower right. Yeah. Which is worse, lower left or lower right? Lower left, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you said that sometimes your back hurts while you're sitting. Yeah. The sacrum is most likely the culprit when you have seated low back pain. Maybe that's being affected too by your sleep position. So we'll go over that kind of information at the end. Okay. Okay, let's bring your chin down to your chest. Good movement in the cervical spine, lower cervical spine. Let's go up. Any pain, discomfort, tension there? Yeah. Where at point to it? Around this area. Okay, we're in the mid C spine there. Yep, and there's just a little, as soon as I touch the C5, feel that little bubble there? Yep. A little bit of swelling outside of the joint. All completely normal biomechanical stuff that we're gonna take care of today. Okay, let's go right ear to the, or left ear to the shoulder. Go ahead now, right side. Good. Do you feel more restricted going one way? Going this way. First thing that you're going to feel is my fingertips on your hamstrings. I'm going to slide up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the right. That matches. So the right lower glute fold means this right hip has gone backwards. That matches the high iliac crest. So far, everything's very straightforward. Looking from the top, let's see. Are your, are your feet even, toes even? Let's bring your toes together. Good. And then looking from the top, we're accentuated so the right glute comes out like this, which means this one's possibly externally rotated. I'm going to push down into your right hip here. Do you have any tenderness, discomfort in your right SI joint? No, a little bit. Okay, we'll do the left side. No. No pressure there. Uh, a little bit, the harder you press. Okay, the lower SI joint here. Let's see. Here Yeah. versus here. Definitely the lower one. This is where the tendons insert into the skull. Do you have headaches ever? Yes. How often do you have headaches? Very frequently. Every day? Not every day, but several a week. Do you get them in the back of your head here? Um, yeah, some of them. I feel like most of them are like sinus headaches behind my eyes. Gotcha. Is this tender right here? Yes. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. I'm going to follow your breath down like this with my hands and then when we get to the bottom of the breath, that's when we push, okay? Okay, let's give it a try here. Deep breath in. Good. Okay, coming up to T3, another deep breath in. Good, and out. Oh. Gentle breathing, a little bit, let your head relax here. That's just like that. Good. Good, let's get right here. Good. Let the head relax, shoulder relax. Good, just kind of sink in. Gentle, 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 gentle. Good breath. Oh. Okay, shoulders sinking in. that one out very good we're gonna do it on the next breath so take another deep breath in 
Gonna let the shoulders sink as you breathe out. Good, okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Go all the way down. Good, let your head relax. Let your back relax into this. We just go back, we're gonna bend the top leg like this. Good, I'm gonna scoot you forward just a little bit here. Let's see the table. Shoulders coming forward just a little bit. Good, shoulders sinking in. Good. Good, little push here. Good. Oh! Good. Lay your back. Perfect. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, as you breathe out, your shoulders are gonna come this way. We're gonna bring your hips down. Good, shoulders. Hips, good. God. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. That was very juicy. We're just gonna do a little bit of traction here, so I'm just gonna like kind of gently pull like this and warm up your neck. Okay. Nice, gentle breathing. I'm gonna bring you over to the side like this. You can just try to like let it go, let your head drop into the table. I'm gonna follow your breath as you breathe out, just like this with my fingers and a little push like that, okay? Okay, gentle, 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 gentle breathing. Good, little push. Go let your head drop, no. let it go. That was good. Gentle, 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 following your breath, letting the shoulders, head, neck sink in. Good. We're gonna come in like this. Good. And let this drop. Let this nice and loose, nice and loosey goose. Good. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, towel to support your neck like that. Okay, your hips are held in place by the pins. So you're gonna go like this, go like this. Now, as you breathe out, we're gonna follow your breath with the towel, and then at the end, we go pull in that direction, okay? Okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good. Keep your teeth together. Good. Oh. Oh. Crazy. Good. How's it feel? Much better. Good. Any low back stuff? How do you feel? How's your lower back feel? A lot of pressure is going on in my lower back too. Good. Keep squeezing. Good. Let your elbow relax. I adjusted you in May of 2022. Yeah. And uh, at that time, you had some low back pain from extended seated positions. And then you were also a student at the time. You're a nurse now. But you were just about to graduate. And you had like this neck, shoulder, upper extremity thing going on on the right side. Yeah. From all the notes that you were taking and squeezing your pencil. Yes. So I would say that I still have like tension on the right hand side, like literally right where you are. I'm sure you can feel that. Mm -hmm. um, but I still have tension there. Um, it just never seems to go away. Like I get deep tissue massages. I do like everything. Maybe I'm still gripping a pencil too hard. I don't know. Are you stretching? No, I don't stretch. Okay. I'm so bad at that. 
All right, that's okay. It's a good awareness. Yeah, it's an easy be place to start. How much water are you drinking? Not enough. Okay, okay. Two easy things to start with this kind of tension. Yeah. Also, too, it might not all be physical. Are you meditating? Nope. You're a nurse working in a hospital. There's a high demand for your mental and emotional strength in those positions. Oh, well, that's why I'm jaded. You have a little bit of trapped tightness up here. Your levator scapula is a little squishy. We have a little tiny trigger point here in the rhomboid. So there's like multiple things here already, soft tissue to work on. Okay, I'm going to push into the lumbar spine. Nice and bouncy on that all four, all three. Let's do this, turn to the left. Good, any tension discomfort there? Nope. A little crack though, you crack it. can you crack that yourself? Yeah. Good, not too bad, a little crack in the left yeah. rotation. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna work on your spine. We'll do some muscular soft tissue stuff and uh, then I'll get you adjusted, okay? Okay. All right, looking at the posture first, uh, high right shoulder and a high left mastoid process. Come put your hands on top of your hips. Good, let's we'll take a high right hip from there. Go ahead and drop your hands. Is it okay if I replace my hands? Yep. Okay. High left hip. All right, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings here. We're gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. This is lower on the left, which means the left side is tipped back, which is different from last time. Oh. It may just be soft tissue because it really shouldn't change. Hypertonicity of the upper glute and then medius and minimus over here a little bit more accentuated. You're gonna feel my fingertips on the top of your pelvis like this. I'm gonna contact the S2 tubercle and then the PSIS on the left. Good, testing the left SI joint first. Go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. Good, come back up. It's a pretty good movement. Let's see what the right side does go. Come back up. It seemed a little strained that time. You're like, go, go do it again. There's a little less movement on the right SI joint there. All right, I'm gonna see if your lumbar musculature is moving appropriately here. Let's do this. Go ahead and lift your right leg up in the air. Down. Left. Down. Is there a difference between this and this? Yeah. Which one? Honestly, the left. That's more tender. Yeah. Right? Okay, ready. Right or left? Left. So that tells us that the spinous process of L5 is moved to the left PL. That's where you have that tenderness over there. Okay, a couple of places to work on here. Definitely have some mid spine muscle stuff going on and some edema around the spine. A little tender in there? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. You feel a difference there? Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Those are actually spinal muscles tests, not the rhomboid. There is still that rhomboid trigger point over here somewhere. That thing right there. And we still have levator scapula up there too. We had a little bit of rotator cuff too when you were seated as well. Yep. Okay, so there's there's multiple, multiple things going on. So that tells me that it's not just one isolated muscle that's strained. It's more of a global. Here, that's pretty tender, right? Yeah. Right versus left. And that's probably the most that I feel. Unless it's, which one more, ready? Left? The left, actually, right now. Really? Okay. Right where your hand is. All right, so one, two, three. Yeah. This is the third trap fiber. The third trap fiber says that we need to check T3. T11 and T12. So let's check T3 first. One, two, three. Then we come in and so like that's telling me that that right there is our primary target. So that's T3. And then we're going to go down to T11. We'll measure that from the top here. Or excuse me, from the bottom. Here's the SI joint here, which means this is S2, S1. This would be L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. T12, here's T11 and 12. It's pretty much perfectly right at the bra line, which is exactly where we see yeah. a lot of issues. All right, so like this one says to like right, left, yeah. right, which one? Right.
Checking in. Good, Kaylin. Shoulders and hips. There's more. Hold on. More. Uh, We're going to push at the top of the breath this time, Kaylin. So you're going to take a deep breath in and then we'll push. Let's give it a try. All the way in. All right, how's that feel? Is that better, same, or worse? It actually feels like 10 times better. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? I don't feel any pain there at all. Yeah. That's how it works. Wow. Now, there is still something here to crack, so to speak. Like, this one still has the findings of a manipulation. So, we'll, even though we've completed the neurological uh, requirement, according to SOT technique, we're still going to fulfill the mechanical obligations and take care of your spine. So, let's do a uh, deep breath in here. Out. Good. Gentle, gentle, gentle. All right, let's check this here. It's T1. One, two, one, two. Is one of these more tender? The one on the right. Loosey goosey, like here. Good. Gentle, 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 gentle. Lovely. Okay, let's bring this forward here. Take a deep breath in. You gotta end out. Good shoulders coming up here. There's more. Hold on. Sure was. Right side here going, shoulders coming up. Good. Bring it back. Hot damn. <laughs> Good. Good. Head relaxed, shoulders sinking. Loosey goosey here, right on top of the atlas, right there. Good. Good, let the shoulders, hips sinking. Beauty. I loved that. Thinking, good. Seven, six, five, four, three. Is it really? It's three, two. Good, we're gonna adjust the C2 at the top on the left here. Let the shoulders sink in, good. I love. That was a big one. Mm -hmm. All right, bend your knees so that your feet are flat. That just cracked something in my groin. Yeah, it's your what pubic, was that? Your pubic synthesis. <laughs> Some like neck and shoulder pain. Okay. And sometimes like lower back pain. Do you get headaches? Mm hmm. How often do you get headaches? Probably almost every day. For how long can you remember having headaches every day? Um, probably like two years. Okay. Anything changed two years ago? New job, new home? New job. Has anyone looked at your neck pain before? Has anyone tried to help you with it? No. This no. is like the first time I've ever been to a chiropractor. Okay. Or done any. Anything like this. Okay, no massage ever. Okay, first mm -hmm. time to a chiropractor. How do you feel? Excited, nervous. Okay, good. Those are those are the two correct things <laughs> to do. Okay, looking at the feet first. We're definitely pronated on the right and possibly left too. From knee to ankle looks good. I don't see any genuverum or valgum. Okay, looking at the hip swing, we're definitely diving off to the left and looks restricted. Pronating on the left. Not as much on the right, but still there, bilateral pronation. So this is diving in. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the medial knee, outer left hip. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips. All right. Okay, I'm going to replace your hands with my fingers. So go ahead and move your hands. Good. Okay, definitely a high left hip, high left shoulder. Bottom of the scapula right here. So definitely a high left shoulder. This is significant too. Left shoulder. And you, you do just, you just lean a little bit off to the right. And then your head goes like this in compensation. So I'm going to do a, a temperature scan now. The back of the fingers are more temperature sensitive. This is where all the heat is right here at the bottom of the scapula. And it cools off and then it gets really the most temperature increases right here at the top of the shoulders you don't really have any of that postural change where the where you have the hump right here mm -hmm. so this looks good 
Your spine is nice and straight up and down. I don't see any deviations to the left or right. I don't suspect that you have any pinched nerves or herniated discs. So all green flags so far, okay? All right, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints here. Tender. Is tender at all? Mm, a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the lower SI. Any tenderness here? Mm-hmm. Okay, right side, any tenderness here? Mm-hmm. Right side here. Mm -hmm. Okay, where is it more? Lower right or lower left? Uh, lower left. Tender? Mm -hmm. What about this side on the same? Is this is this tender? Mm, not as much. So more tenderness on the, so the, your muscles are more prominent on this right side. They're just kind of like, they're just they're harder than the muscles on the left. So we have to figure out, is this the normal side? Hypertonic, or is this the normal side? Oh, okay, let's lean to the right. This is my left. Do I come back to the right? Okay, right. Good movement there on right lateral flexion, left. Less movement there. Which one feels more restricted to you, left? The left. Okay, I'm going to look at your uh, glutes now. This helps determine which way the pelvis is rotated, okay? All right, so looking at the bottom of the glutes first, the glute fold. This is glute is lower on the right. That means your right glute comes down like this. That means your right hip is going backwards or left forward. Looking from the top, your toes are even. Go looking from the top, the right side is more out like this, so the right glute comes out which means that that one's turned externally, or this one's turned internal, internally. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Here? A little bit. Here? Mm -hmm. More here? Yeah. That's where it's the most tender there. Tenderness, discomfort here? Mm -hmm. That's L5, L4 here? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're checking between the L4, L5, L4, L5 disc. Left, right, which one more? The right. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, good, and then out. And I'm gonna follow your breath like this with my hands as you breathe out. And then when we get to the end of your breath, very good. Okay, let's give it a try. Go take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Following it down, gentle. Another deep breath in. Now, let's sink in. This time you're gonna take a deep breath in and then when you get to the, then at the top of the breath, that's when we push, okay? Okay. All right, so let's give it a try. Deep breath in all the way in, far in as you can go. Good, and then let it all sink as you breathe out. Let your shoulders drop, breathe out. Here, we're gonna bend the top leg like this, good. I'll scoot your forward here like this. Okay, so nice and gentle breathing. As you breathe out, I'm gonna stretch your shoulders like this. Okay, it's already starting to move it's because we're in the right position. We're gonna bring down like this, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, okay let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, sh good, there's more, hold on. Good, lay on your back. Okay, so nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in, and out. Good, good, shoulders, good. On your back. As you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath. Just try to let your head completely drop. 
down into the table. And then as you breathe out, good. I'm going to follow your breath, and then we're going to push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Go and take a nice soft breath in. And then let your shoulders relax here. Let your head just kind of loose. Loose, good. Good. Good, right here on top of the atlas, right there. <gasps> oh, my God. Good, so nice and gentle, just like the other adjustments. We're breathing. Good, we're going to come right up into here. Ooh. All right, so we're going to go like this. And as you breathe out, we're going to follow your breath. And then when we get to the end of your breath, we pull like that, okay? I'm gone. <laughs> You're going to be fine. It's okay. Good. All you have to do is keep your teeth together. Good. Breathe out. And just let it all sink in. Good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Feel all the way down? I don't know. <laughs> it just happened so fast. I don't know. Shoulders and hips, everything's sinking in. Good. Oh. That was the one. <laughs> Come back as much as we can here. Good.